if you have proper water, sanitation and hygiene, then you can maintain a good health for the population. So that's why for Malteser International also it's a very important sector that we are working in. Well, if, if people don't have water, clean toilets or hygiene practices, then the risk of getting sick is really very elevated. So for instance, um, one activity, and we have seen it now with the current coronavirus uh, outbreak also, if you don't apply proper hand washing with soap, then all kinds of diseases can enter the body. And so that from that point of view, hygiene is very important. If you have water that is not safe, contaminated also, you can get sick from that. And also the, the lack of latrines or access to latrines can also cause that you will be infected by, by, by disease causing pathogens or that you have to relieve yourself in an unsafe environment. So all three factors are important for, uh, for our security and for our health. If you only concentrate on health and you don't have, let's say, activities that can really prevent that, you, that people get sick, like, like uh, poor water supply or, or other uh, causes that can make, make people sick, then it's important also to do something on the preventive side. Often we work in a kind of humanitarian context. That means, for instance, if uh, internally displaced people, IDPs or refugees are coming in an area and then they are stuck, for instance, without water and sanitation. So then the first step is kind of what we call emergency water supply. And that can be in, in different ways. It can be if you have boreholes and you drill boreholes and you provide water with central water systems. It can also be working with communities that they are convinced, for instance, to stop the practice of what we call open defecation. That means people who don't have a latrine but would go out in the open. So that they are convinced to stop that practice and that they are, let's say, motivated to, to, to build their own latrines. And that, uh, for water, for instance, also we have activities more at the household level. And that people are aware of the need to really conserve their water very properly. That, uh, it will not get contaminated and that they are aware of, of how to do that and uh, to teach them about very simple uh, water treatment methodologies be it with chlorine or other things so that they can keep their, their uh, water safe and have uh, a healthy life.